Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I was recently reading a book, Terraform Up and Running, and I really liked one line in there that says, software isn't done when the code is working on your computer. Software isn't done until you deliver it to the user. As you can guess, we're talking about DevOps. If you're in any sort of cloud role, whether it's administration, operations, or if you're looking for a career change and moving to DevOps especially, you wanna make sure you have all these tools and knowledge of these tools under your belt before you go into these roles. In this video, I'll introduce you to concept of infrastructure as code using Terraform, which will help you automate all your resource deployment and scale them. So the very first question comes in, what is Terraform? Why do we really need to use it instead of maybe PowerShell, CLI, or ARM templates? Terraform has emerged as a key player in the DevOps world. It can be used to build, automate, and scale your infrastructure without having to do the manual configurations from the portal. It also supports multiple cloud, whether you're working with AWS, Azure, GCP, or even your on-premises if you have any VMware, vSphere running on um, in the private data centers. The primary use of Terraform is to make sure your infrastructure never drifts away from your desired configuration that you have. So Terraform itself is written in a very specific language called HashiCorp Configuration Language, also known as HCL which is not really a programming language. If you look at it, it's really easy to read and write because it's really a configuration language as compared to the programming languages. You might also hear word infrastructure as code very often, which is simply the concept of using this Terraform language to configure and orchestrate your environment so that you can use file or multiple files to build your infrastructure as compared to using graphic interface. So how does this really works? So there are a few different concepts you need to understand before we deep dive into the actual concept of how to deploy this. The first step is resource scope. You wanna make sure you have a list of requirements, whether it's a visual diagram or whether it's just simply a mind map of what resources you need in the cloud. That just helps you understand that you have all the requirements based on what resources you want to build and how the architecture looks like. The second step is configuration file. At this point, you're gonna take all the resource list that you built before or the mind map that you have and actually laid that down into configuration files using HashiCorp configuration language. So you wanna take all the mind map information and piece it down using HCL modules and any of the plugins that, you, that are available in the library. The third step is initialization. At this point, you have all your configurations written down into HCL file and at this point, you just need to initialize your file what this process really does is make sure you have all the plugins, make sure you have all the provider dependencies installed and locally available to confirm that your configuration file is really good to go. The last step is apply and plan. So at this point, you run Terraform plan to make sure your configuration files are still valid. There's no dependency issue. There's no variable errors. Once that is uh, that once that went through, you want to make sure you apply all the changes. The apply command is going into your Azure subscription and deploying all the resources that you have uh, requested in your desired shared configuration language. That was a quick introduction to Terraform and what Terraform does and how you can really use it. In the next video, we'll go deep dive in and do some really hands-on uh, labs to make sure we understand what all those commands are and how they really provision the resources. For now, I will leave some links in the description. Make sure to check those out and uh, get yourself familiar with Terraform. Take care.